service. But again, we are sending Chopper 5. The, bro the break happened just after midnight, so we'll have much more on that coming up. In the meantime, we are also watching a second water main break at Brewster and Warren in Redwood City. This is a video taken a little earlier this morning. That was an eight inch main broke around three o'clock this morning. Fortunately, the water has been capped, but as you can see, it was a messy morning. Two nearby garages were actually flooded and we're just uh, learned that that intersection of Brewster and Warren will remain shut down throughout the morning. It's going to take about six hours to make those full repairs. That is a check of time saver traffic. I'll toss it back to you guys. OK, Liz, thanks. 532 now. The Port of Oakland could be out of operation today. Workers are getting ready to start a one day walk out pickets are already up over at the airport. CBS 5 reporter Alyssa Harrington is at the port on more with those issues that led to the strike. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning. Well, workers want a fair contract and they have been waiting more than a year to get one. So as they prepare to strike today, which actually doesn't officially start till six o'clock, you can see some workers have come out here and put up this large blow up section of Maritime Street where truckers go into the port. Now, hundreds will be walking the picket lines for phase two of a 24 hour strike that launched last night at the airport. The port and Oakland International Airport are under the same management and are in contract disputes with the uh, Service Employees International Union. The union represents more than 200 maintenance and janitorial workers, and they say that those workers are at risk of having their wages and benefits cut. They also say that port executives have been illegally withholding information related to bargaining. Workers have been without a contract for 16 months, and the union rejected the latest offer. This strike comes at a crucial time for the port, following intense scrutiny over their executives who are under investigation for allegedly misusing public money. The managers in the port have been caught in strip bars. There's $37 million worth of surplus on the table, and they don't want to deal, so it is what it is. Roughly 500 workers and supporters are expected to join the strike today, so there will be two different picket lines, one at the airport, one here at the port. Uh, the picket lines, however, are not affecting flight service at the airport, but could certainly disrupt operations at the port. SEIU Local 1021 mainly represents janitors, electricians, security and maintenance workers. Now again, the strike does not officially start until six o'clock, so workers and their supporters will be shuttled in, but you can see a handful have already arrived. They are getting ready for this strike again that started last night and is expected to go until later on this evening. In Oakland, Alyssa Harrington, CBS 5. Alyssa, thank you. For the second time this month, nurses will be on strike at 10 Bay Area hospitals. Hospitals. The walkout is planned for two days at eight Sutter hospitals and for today only at two San Jose hospitals run by Hospital Corporation of America. Key issues include staffing levels and sick leave. Replacement nurses have been brought in. It is uh, 534 now. A Palestinian rocket hit near Jerusalem today, landing harmlessly in an open area, but it is one of the longest rocket strikes fired from Gaza in nearly a week of fighting, some 50 miles. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is headed to Israel to work on a diplomatic solution to the deadly conflict.